Hello everyone, this is Tim Stack from the Utah Education Network and this is another episode in our series about iPads in the classroom. So in this session I'm going to talk about a flashcard app for the iPad and show you how you can use that, how you can create your own flashcards, how you can get uh, flashcards from other places. Okay, so first of all this app is 99 cents so pretty cheap so it lets you create these flashcards yourself right on the device you can just make them and I'll demonstrate that in a second also you can uh, connect to quizlet.com and download from the hundreds of thousands of um, quizzes there or flashcard sets that are already created by mostly by other teachers you can also create your own flashcards at quizlet post them at Quizlet and download them on devices or let your students download them onto their devices. And <clears throat> also um, I want to show you a little bit how it will connect to Google Docs. So if you create a spreadsheet in Google Docs you can download that right in, onto your device as flashcards and your students can do that as well. Um, it also in addition to flashcards it lets you play the memory game and uh, one of the downsides of this uh, app is once uh, a student has an app in Cardboard, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Once a student has a set of flashcards in their Cardboard app, they're unable to share it between devices. So that's one of the downsides. Okay, so <clears throat> a little bit about Quizlet, which we're going to use here in a second. You can sign up for an account. You can create your own quizzes, which end up being flashcard sets. Um, giant, giant collection and pretty easy to download right into a whole number of flashcard card apps. The one, of course, we're going to be using today is called Cardboard. Okay, a little bit about Google. <coughs> I mentioned that uh, we can use, we can import a Google spreadsheet into um, our Cardboard flashcard app. Um, so we could make a two column uh, spreadsheet and put our terms in. Uh, and just have them download automatically right into uh, our app. Also, I'm going to show you a fun little thing called Google Squared, which allows me to uh, do a search, have Google sort of get the, my spreadsheet started for me, uh, and then we can sort of take it into our Google Spreadsheets and right down onto our um, iPad. So I'll demonstrate that. That'll that'll make more sense once we get to it. Okay, so. Um, let me get here to the uh, to my iPad. Okay, so you can see my iPad screen here. Now I'm just going to uh, scroll along till I can find the cardboard app. There it is. It's the blue one with the white C on it. So I'm going to click on that to get it started. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Click on that to get it started. And you can see pretty simple, um, clean-looking app. Um, I've got a few uh, uh, flip cards already in there. <clears throat> okay, so just for an example, um, I'll just show you this example in that one that I already have. U.S. states and capitals, you can see all the um, all the cards and as soon as I click on one it starts me uh, studying. So I can say Hartford, oh that's Connecticut I believe, I got it right. And then I can just slide it over to do the next one and there you go, you get the idea. Tallahassee, Florida, okay. Um, also, if I click up here in the upper right hand corner, I can play the memory game. Uh, again, it just picks a selection here. It looks like <clears throat> of 20 of these states. So I can say, okay, Maine, and I try to find its capital. You guys know how this works. Oh, I got that one right. Okay. Oh, I saw that one now. I can't remember where it is. Okay, so I'm not so good at the memory game today. Okay, that's enough. You get the idea. So I'm going to click Done. Um, so pretty simple app. Let's me play the memory game and let's me just do, um, uh, not, I said flip cards, flash cards, just sort of normal flash card things. So let me just show you how we can uh, get the content into this app, um, which is a great study aid because 
most of the time when you get into high school there's going to be some flashcards used to help students memorize data okay so I'm going to click the edit button up here in the upper right hand corner and it allows me to say a little button comes up this is add a deck <coughs> Okay, so you can see a couple ways to create a deck. Now I can create it right here in the app. And we'll just do, um, let's just say I'm making a vocabulary list um, for my class. All right, so I can just type, or if I'm a student, I can just create this myself, add a card, and so I'm gonna have to flip this. Uh, I can start adding the text here. I won't really type anything. I can type, put the text for the back and you can see I've got a, a, a place here to add an image and this just comes out of the camera roll so maybe I'm um, I'm gonna grab pictures take pictures of things and write their definitions um, you can see now I've got one card that's done there I'm gonna just go ahead and get out of this mode um, and go all the way back and you can see now I've got this vocabulary Oop, I gotta get out one more step um, there's my my one card and when I click on it I can see the back side okay and I can continue to obviously make more cards let's go back into that edit button here and add another deck because I want to show you how easy it is uh, to get something down from Quizlet so I'm gonna go to Quizlet here and uh, how about we just do a search um, for US history how about that um, and we'll see what's already been created so you can see lots of these already created so there's an AP history one with 208 cards and all I have to do is say download and it gives me a little preview there you can see and I'm gonna just click download set and that's it it downloaded and I can get all the way out of here so you can have a look there's my AP history flashcard set Oh, got to go one more step back here to, to view it. Um, there's all my cards, and as soon as I start, I click on any one of them, I can start going through these um, vocabulary words from U.S. history. So pretty easy to get it down from Quizlet. Um, a lot of them also have... Uh, images with them. So a lot of the Quizlet ones, for, so for example, if you see, I'm, I'm going to go to the back of these so you can see, this is a geography um, set of flashcards and it's maps. So if I start with this one, I can say, okay, well what is that? Well, that's obviously Antarctica. Um, I can say, oh, that's the Atlantic Ocean. So if I was practicing this way, um, Im it's easy to put images in. Okay, so getting cards from Quizlet um, pretty easy just to put a search term in here you could even go to the website first of course uh, and do a search let me just show you that uh, that website quick so you can just have a uh, uh, you can check it out quick um, it's kind of fun to see here so a giant website uh, giant number of resources um, you can browse by subject you can do keyword searches um, or you can log in and create your own uh, right here pretty easy to use okay so that's Quizlet um, pretty nice all right so uh, one of the other things here I'm gonna go back to add a deck you can see is Google Docs so I have already at least I think I have I've already already logged into my Google Docs account and what's showing up here is all the spreadsheets that are in my Google Docs account now um, let me just I'm going to grab one of these because I know it's a vice president so I'm going to grab the vice president and download the sheet um, it's one I created earlier so it's downloading a spreadsheet and I'll show you what that looks like in Google Docs um, but you can see if I create it in my uh, Google Docs spreadsheet a two column uh, spreadsheet with um, uh, each row would be a term and then the front and the, you know first column is the front the second column is the back of the card um, and it <coughs> can bring it right in um, so I'm going to switch over there quick so you can kind of see here's the Google Docs here's the one I'm downloading right now okay you can see it's just a, a simple spreadsheet with some the names uh, this was and these are links to the pictures okay the pictures are online and it's grabbing those as well now I'm not gonna um, 
create one of those from scratch, you could easily just go right in and type in your uh, type in your stuff. What I want to do is show you how you can use um, this tool called Google Squared uh, to get started on making a set of flashcards for you to help to have Google really help you with this. Um, so let's say, uh, maybe I'll just use one of these right here. Um, I want to make some uh, flashcards for U.S. presidents, so I could type in the keyword search. I'll just click on this because they've already got it made for me. <coughs> and what Google does is it just does a, it just does a uh, regular Google search. Um, uh, grab some data out. You can see how it's lined it up here in this uh, these squares or this spreadsheet. Um, now again, this is just. Uh, a Google search, so you've got to check this information. Um, I'm going to add all of these here. So some of them might not be accurate, like you can see one of these is anti-federalists. So, well, I can just delete that row right out of the um, content. Okay, so using Google Squared could be a whole nother, uh, a whole nother topic. Um, we're not going to worry too much about that, but what I'm interested in is these is the first two columns here, the name and the photo, and uh, so that's what I want to use. So I need to, I'm going to take this what I've created here in Google Squared, and up in the upper right hand corner, so I can export this. I'm going to export it to Google Spreadsheets. Okay, so there it is in Google Spreadsheets. Um, and then I can decide what I what I want to use. I just want I need to narrow this down to two columns. So I could say, well, I want uh, the name and the photo. So I need to get rid of all the rest of these columns, which I can just select here. And just I got a couple one more to go. Come on, little guy. Delete those, and then I'll just get this last one on its own. Okay, almost there. Delete. Alright, so I've got this um, down to just two columns. I'm going to save it. This is going to be U.S. US Presidents. Okay, save that. Um, so I have just modified um, that spreadsheet so that it just has two columns. And then you know, there were images here, but right now I'm just seeing the links to the image. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, let me just make sure I don't have any extra. I need to get rid of all this stuff. I didn't quite get rid of the spouses here. Let's just try that again. Okay, save that. Okay, so I'm going to go back now. Um, now you're seeing my uh, iPad again. I'm still in uh, this uh, cardboard application. I'm going to click on Google Docs again. And I've added a new spreadsheet there. And you can see it shows up at the top of the list. There's U.S. presidents. And I'm going to import that down. It'll take it just a, 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 a moment or two here to download. <coughs> now, while it was in um, Google Spreadsheets, if I needed to, I could have you know organized them, deleted the bad ones, added ones that didn't that Google didn't find. Um, I could have done all of that um, when I was in Google Spreadsheets. Okay, so there it is downloaded. Um, let's go all the way back. Okay, get all the way out here. Now you can see there's my U.S. Presidents, and when I click on it, um, there's one side of the card. Here's the other side, and I can click on one and start. I probably want to start with the backs. Okay, so I can say, okay, who is that? And Click on it. See that it's Abraham Lincoln. Go to the next one. Who is that? Keep going here. Who is that? Um, and now I've got this set of flashcards that I just created with very little work. So that is a quick overview of this application called um, Cardboard, which is a flashcard application. You can see and three ways to get your uh, three ways to get your data in to the cards. Okay, you can create you can go to Quizlet, create a quiz or just search the existing quizzes for at Quizlet right from within the app and download them. Um, you can go to Google Square, do a Google search, take what you find there into your 
Google Spreadsheets and then download Google Spreadsheet uh, right into your um, right into this app, this cardboard app. So thanks for watching today and uh, hopefully you found something useful. We'll see you next time.